<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today, starting off up close because we're going to be looking at the Rye RDA today. I got it sitting right now on top of that Mech Life Arcless Mech Mod. The problem is this is a 0.3 build in here right now. And a 0.3 on a Mech Mod, ah, you know, it, it's not ideal. So we are going to take this build out of here and put in a new one. I, I don't know what I'm thinking doing this at my desk. I need to go rinse this off. All right, so much better. So there's actually a pretty cool little story behind this RDA. We're gonna talk about that when we get back up top. What I wanna do right now is just focus on the nitty gritty, just the nuts and bolts. Let's look at this deck. Straightforward two post deck, large post holes. I'm gonna be attempting these Fiends frame staples today just for fun. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but the whole base of the deck is sort of rounded. They call it a pitcher's mound, meaning it's higher in the middle and it kind of tapers off down towards the edge here. The idea being that if you drip liquid straight down the center, it's, go it's not going to collect there and it's going to run off to the sides where your wicks are. Comes with a squonk pin as well. As you can see, it's gonna squonk right through the middle here, which if you're an avid squonker, you know that when you get down to the bottom of the bottle of liquid in your squonker, that can kind of become a little bit of a uh, fountain. The reason that these posts are set at like this 45 degree angle is to keep down turbulence. In fact, every Everything in this deck has been sort of rounded off, rounded off to prevent any sort of turbulence in your airflow. This RDA is based on the idea of having the best damn draw, as long as you don't put the AFC on upside down. So there's no tabs or locking mechanisms between the barrel and the deck, and they did that for a reason. I personally can't stand those little locking tabs. I like being able to aim my airflow, and that's why they don't have those. So you can aim your airflow. You could throw a single coil across it like this, if you have a single coil going across it, you can offset your airflow like this and aim it directly where you want it. But before we throw a build in here, I got to show you this airflow and this AFC because it is just bonkers. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. It's going to be the same on both sides of the barrel. And you start off with this slot right here. There's a Cyclops slot. I used to call it a Cylon slot. And it's only one millimeter tall and five millimeters wide. There's four holes across the front. And these are one and a quarter millimeter holes. And they are all chamfered off the holes and the slot itself. When you pair this airflow up with everything that's been rounded off inside the deck, the airflow just gets smoother and smoother and smoother. So like I said, that's the same on both sides. And then you get to this, and this is the AFC. Look, look at this. Look, that is crazy, dude. What this gives you the ability to do is really, truly dial in your airflow on this. You can see if I pop it down this way, right there, it's just gonna have the Cylon slot open. All the holes are closed. If you start twisting it, it's gonna start opening up that bottom set of airflow. And if you keep twisting it, it lets you slowly start opening the Cyclops airflow while also maintaining the bottom airflow. In fact, let me show you, it's hard to see you can have it be like this, all the holes open, little slot. You're gonna see a piece of metal pass behind one of these holes right here. And you let it go to the next one and you can have it like that with all of them open. Or you can have it all of them, all of them open. You can see that it'll let you do just the top just the bottom or like a combination of both. Included in the package is a 510 drip tip adapter. It has a proprietary, no, that's what they call the chuff. They have a proprietary, not proprietary. What am I thinking? It's an 810 drip tip, just a rock and black 810 drip tip, as well as this little interesting chuffy style guy. If you're into that sort of top hat look and you want a wide bore with a smaller diameter, this actually looks silly, but is terribly comfortable. And then you get this guy right here for for some reason, it's just a dinky little three millimeter bore drip tip. If you so want to close off the airflow even more, I wouldn't recommend using this drip tip with anything like sub ohm. It's certainly not gonna transform it into any sort of mouth to lung type of situation, but it will really restrict the airflow. From top to bottom, this Rye RDA is just precision. All the O-rings, Oh, they're so snappy and nice. All of the machining is just beautiful. They went over this with a fine tooth comb. Oh, holy crap, it says Grim Green on the bottom. Nice. They also have available for a separate purchase these sort of comp caps. I, I, I guess that's what I would call it. Non-adjustable AFC, you just pop it on and that's it. Full open airflow, this is for 
cloud chasing. And you can get it in Ultem as well. Also spare screws, spare O-rings, your squonk pin. But enough yammering on, let's try to get this build in here. They recommend two and a half millimeter builds in here just because of the size of the overall chamber on the inside. I think these are three millimeter coils. I'm just gonna go for it. Damn, that's a damn perfect fit. Woohoo, yeah, three millimeters, a little bit of a tight fit, man. But I think we're gonna get this done. I'm just gonna pre-clip these leads and then I'm gonna trim the other leads, get these all installed, get them glowing. Well, when I screwed down this screw over here, it definitely clamped down my leads and it kind of ah, separated it a little bit in order to get some room for wicks in there. Now, look, I am definitely, this is not the best build for this RDA. I'm, I'm slowly realizing that now. Three millimeter frame staple in here, that eh, might've been might have been a little bit much, Nick Green. But we're just going with it because I refuse to give up. Eh, not bad. Got some of that pretty blue warm nichrome action happening, but they ended up coming out to a 0.12. They're glowing real, real evenly. Just trim my cotton flush with the deck. I'm gonna do the kind of press and lift and press technique here. I'm not gonna necessarily fold it under, although it, it definitely looks like I'm folding it under, I assure you, I, that's not what's happening right now. Kind of is what's happening right now. Here's the lift and press technique, ready? Put my finger against the cotton, lift it with the scissors, press it down into the side. This is actually a pretty good example over here. You just wanna cut these real short so that when they're pressed down into that deck, the bottom of your wicks right here are touching the bottom of the deck. That's ideal. Kind of ideal in any RDA, really ideal in the Rye RDA. That's it. That's really what you're after. And now you can kind of see, yeah, if you drip down in the middle, it's gonna go down, it's gonna run off to the side. Are we gonna be able to see this in action? Let's try to drip through the middle and see what happens. Oh yeah, runs right off to the edge. As advertised. Damn, that cotton bacon is really just absorbing all of this liquid. I haven't actually put any liquid directly on this coil yet, but just through dripping through the middle, it's already nice and saturated. The cotton did its job and got the liquid to the coil on both sides. In fact, we can fire this right now. Yep. Damn. So for now, I'm going to take the cloud cap. I'm just gonna line the air flows up in front of the coils. Boom, roasted. Shit, maybe I'll even use the Ultim one. Yeah, dude. But yeah, Rye RDA, all built and wicked. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape the damn thing and let's talk about the best damn draw. Well, there's that Rye RDA with the stainless steel cloud cap on there. And before we get to talking about the best damn draw, I kind of wanted to share the story behind this RDA. This RDA is actually named after someone from the community, a guy named Ryan Massa, who was a very near and dear friend to the vape community, as well as 99 Raps and Blue Eyed Goon, the creators of the Rye RDA. Yeah, that's Blue Eyed Goon of the Goon RDA. Ryan Massa unfortunately passed away suddenly September 2019. And because he was such a near and dear friend to both Blue Eyed Goon and 99 Raps, they decided to name this RDA the Rye RDA after Ryan Massa. And not only that, but a portion of the proceeds of every Rye RDA goes to Ryan's family. So this is for you, Ryan Massa. and it's good. So between what you saw in the Uppy Closey and right now, I've actually put like two different builds in it since then. That Fiends frame staple just wasn't working in here. They recommend a two and a half millimeter build in here and I would really suggest sticking to that. A three millimeter build was honestly just a little too big in this RDA. The two posts in this annoy me the way that two posts in a lot of RDAs annoy me and that is getting a coil to span the distance between these two posts. It's the same thing I complained about in that V-God uh, MechMod RDA video, I had to space the coils out in order to get them into the posts. But in 
ended up in there and what I've been using for the last few days is just a pair of Turk aliens. And when you install a pair of Turk aliens, they're not gonna span that distance. So you kind of have to bend your legs out to get them into those posts, which isn't impossible to do. It just takes, you know, a little bit of TLC, you know, a little bit of uh, patience. Cloud cap works as advertised. It is a cloud cap. The airflow is fairly smooth and you get a lot of it. If cloud comps were still a thing anywhere in the world, then I would be using this cap. And the flavor is good on that cloud cap, but it's not nearly as good as it is on the stock cap. This is really where the best damn draw kind of comes into play. The almost endless possibilities of airflow configurations on here is fantastic. You can really dial in your draw however you like it. Sometimes I rock just the Cylon slot open, real nice vape. Most of the time I rock just the holes open on the bottom and that creates a much more restricted but still very, very smooth and flavorful airflow. It, it's it's beautiful. And like I said, you can kind of experiment with both. Open up the top a little, close off the bottom a little, close off the bottom a lot, close off the top a lot. Open up the bottom and have a little bit on top. When I first got the rye, that's the airflow that I was using right there. Full bottom open and just a little bit of the slot on top open. Just opens it up just a little bit more. And even the stock cap fully, fully open isn't quite as open as the cloud cap. The cloud cap legitimately gives you a lot more airflow. Non-adjustable airflow, but just a lot more of it. The pitcher's mound on the bottom of the deck really thought it was gimmicky. Turns out that it actually works really, really well. It does push the liquid off to the side and it doesn't push the liquid off to the side just to get it to your wicks. It pushes the liquid off to the side to kind of keep it out of the middle. Sometimes on RDAs and especially Especially on two post RDAs, you can end up getting a little sort of pond of liquid right there in the middle. And when you go to take a big rip on it, you kind of get that awful hot magma liquid like straight up your face. This completely prevents that from happening. No spit back. Only nice, delicious, crackly, smooth, wonderful vape experience. It's truly, truly, truly a great vape experience. Apart from the very small gripe I have about the posts feeling a little bit too far apart, there's nothing that I can fault this RDA on. It's pretty flawless from top to bottom. The fit and finish, fantastic. O-rings are snappy. The airflow is smooth. The machining is flawless. And all of those things add up to, are you going to need your vape budget hands if you want to check out the Rye RDA? RDA, it has cemented itself into that sort of upper echelon of RDAs that I truly, truly love. Things throughout the years like the Recoil RDA, the original Goon, the Kennedy 24, things like this. RDAs that in my opinion are just staples in my life that I need. The top tier, best of the best RDAs, this is there, it's in it. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links aren't allowed in the description anymore. Thank you, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vapor products are still 95% less harmful than combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, absolutely, you guys. Let's keep on vaping.